2014 coverage continues now with a look at the important school funding issue. The Forest Hills School District is going back to voters with a request for millions again. As WLWT News 5's Andrew Setters reports tonight, the money will be used to renovate buildings and replace one aging elementary school. If the Forest Hills school spending issue passes, Wilson Elementary here will be gone. It will be replaced. It's just one of many changes that will be coming to the district. Well, the number one concern of a building principal is safety. A new secure entrance to Anderson High is high on the list of priorities. It would be nice to be able to funnel visitors into to a nice, safe vestibule where we could keep an eye on them and know where they're going. The building would get a full renovation, including handicapped accessibility and a new science wing, too. Changes you can see and changes the students would feel. I'm built in 1961. There's no air conditioning in this particular building. Uh, it's like a brick oven in the summertime or in the fall or in, in the spring. Uh, many of our classrooms here uh, get up to in the high, mid to high 90 degrees, uh, which is not advantageous to learning. The transportation facility outside Anderson High would move as well. The combination levy and bond issue would raise $103 million. That means an additional $173 in taxes per year for every $100,000 in home value. Eight buildings in all would be renovated. Wilson Elementary would be replaced because rehabbing it would be too expensive. We're asking our kids to do their optimum performance in less than optimum conditions. Right now, the building's a patchwork of cinder block buildings and breezeways with ceilings that have had chronic leaks. All of that, and there's not enough room. Trailers have been placed behind Wilson as extra classroom space. This, this staff, this community is amazing. They're absolutely wonderful and so dedicated to education. Um, and to provide them with a facility that matches that dedication would be outstanding. So if voters say yes, Wilson Elementary would be leveled. This 1950s era building gone, replaced with a brand new one for the 700 or so students that go to school here every day. From Wilson Elementary School, Andrew Setters, WLWT News 5. Now, a bond issue was put before voters back in May of last year. It lost by a 10% margin. The plan has been reworked, and the district is now hopeful voters will say yes this time around.